today we are talking to people whose journeys motivated them to achieve greatness and inspiring others to do the very same thing. Our next guest holds a very special place in my heart, and I know y'all. Yeah. Ah, Sonia Manzano, you of course recognize her as Maria yeah. on PBS's Sesame Street. She held that spot down from 1971 to 2015. Wow. Sonia is the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Daytime Emmy Award for her impact on children's television. She's won 15 Emmy Awards, and her writing received the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Award in Washington, D.C., and, and the Hispanic Heritage Award for Education in 2003. Now Sonia has a new children's show. It's called Alma's Way on PBS Kids. It is one of my son's favorite shows. It is about a confident, problem-solving six-year-old Puerto Rican girl named Alma who lives in the South Bronx. Take a look. Hi, abuelito. I've got a lot of family in Puerto Rico, and they really love to hug. Oh, damn, damn. Please welcome everyone's favorite neighbor, Sonia Manzano. started crying oh, oh, oh. As you are, for two reasons. <laughs> Obviously, the connection to Sesame Street. I was born in 1970. But what Alma means to my son. Oh, that's I music mean, when to I my tell ears. You, I love that. Thank you. And I, and I didn't know initially when we started watching that it was your part. We were just looking for something to watch one day. And he, he loves Daniel Tiger. And then Alma's way came up. And I was like, and we were hooked. We were in her relationship with her grandmother and the fam. <laughs> oh, I, listen, we're in. I know. We are in. <laughs> so congratulations um, on this beautiful character. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a wonderful opportunity to make such an interest. I feel like the Wizard of Oz or something <laughs> coming from, you know, behind the door there. Listen, you've made quite an interest and impact overall. I, I was looking at the quote from uh, Broadway legend, the legend Lin-Manuel Miranda, when you got the Daytime Achievement Award. He said, um, for so many years, the only Latina on TV we had was Maria on Sesame Street. You were the lone voice in the wilderness. You raised us. You taught us to read. And none of us would be where we are without oh. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for, for, for uh, thank you so much for quoting that. And I was able to hit up on, uh, on Lynn Manuel to write the lyrics for the theme of Alma's <laughs> Way. <laughs> I said, well, if you feel that way about me, how about writing the... <laughs> like, give me a little hit here. Yeah, right, When right. you hear those words, I know, and you've talked about it before, um, understanding fully what Maria meant, because it meant something to you from your background. Well, I used to watch a lot of... I was raised in the South Bronx, and I used to watch a lot of television as a kid. And I loved television, and I used to escape into television. And not seeing anybody who looked like me, oh, you know, over and over again, sort of made me feel like what I was going to contribute to a society that was that didn't see me. Yeah. So when I got uh, Maria, I, I remembered that. And I said, you know, there's some kid watching me the way I used to watch television. Mm -hmm. And so I want to be the person that they could say, oh, look, she's just like me. And then when Alma's Way came up, I made it even more like yeah. me. And then she, it really set her in, in the Bronx. Because that's the thing. I mean, I know that there was a quote that I read somewhere where you talked about, they asked you about, um, what you wanted to do after the Sesame Street series. This is what you said in 2021. I'd rather stick a pin in my eye than try to create a series after Sesame Street. I mean, how do you top that act? <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> you say this only to then top that act oh, with Alma's oh, way. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, you it, thank you. 
you, you, you could certainly understand my feeling yes. about, you know, I wouldn't have done it on my own. If PBS hadn't asked me to create a show, uh, um, I, I wouldn't have done it what on... What did they say to you was missing? Well, they just said they wanted a family show, a Latin, Latinx family show, but they left the mission of it to me. Mm -hmm. And I looked around and I saw that all of our kids are, are under a lot of pressure. They have to pass tests. <laughs> They have to memorize. They have to watch. Uh, they have to have a kindergarten and preschool on the internet. And a lot of these kids who don't pass tests think they're they're not smart. And and they are smart. And uh, so I want everyone to know we, we all have a brain. You can all think, yeah. uh, even if you can't memorize or pass a test. And, uh, and that was the mission of the show. I, I looked around and I saw what I thought kids needed. So every show has a little think, yeah, yeah, think through, as you <laughs> probably know if you watch. She's very precocious. Let me yeah. tell you, Alma, she is um, such a confident being. But I think the reason why my son loves it is because you do see her processing. You do see her exploring. You do see um, that the curiosity that sometimes kids don't feel they have a right to have. Right. And she right. possesses that. Right, right. So she puts two and two together. Yeah. And I used to put two and two together when I was a, a, a kid as well. You know, I said, if this is true about this, then this it, must be true about right. that. Uh, sometimes I was off, but... But you're exhibiting but, but problem you're exhi solving. Yes, exactly. You, you are Look thinking. at that. That's not a more curious face. I don't <laughs> know what it is. She's like, riddle me this. Oh, is yeah, that yeah. real? I love that. Well, coming up. Find out which Supreme Court justice makes a groundbreaking appearance on Alma's way after the break. And there she is. Isha, ¿qué tal? Todo bien, amiga. Meet my beautiful, gorgeous grandchildren, Alma and Junior. Kids, meet Justice Sonia. from PBS Kids hit show Alma's Way. The second season premiere with guest star Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. <laughs> and we are back with the show's creator, children's television legend Sonia Manzano. The nonprofit media review organization Common Sense Media put on their best shows list this show. Um, this is magical. First of all, I love that you have the casual justice in her sneakers and... <laughs> What made you decide to go that direction? Well, I know her. Uh, uh, I met her before she was confirmed. We worked together to get the Bronx Children's Museum mm -hmm. up and running. Um, so so I, I, I knew her from that world, and, and uh, we've been at several events together, and she really wants to get to know the people. Yeah. I mean, you know, she'll read a children's book, and then she'll ask all the kids to come up on the stage with her. So I thought, why not? Uh, ask her, yeah. you know, to be on Alma's way. So I thought, why don't she come to the Bronx to visit Granny Issa, which is the part that I play, and, uh, and you know, we meet at her building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this And story. there's a Puerto Rican flag hanging out the building, as uh, Your as attention you know. to detail. Yes, the detail The is details is matter because, like, kids now, they're looking for those familiar beats in their families. They're looking for things that they would see in their abuela's house. And when she has those things, it matters. Right. Right, right. And the father is Afro-Puerto yeah. Rican. Yeah. That was important to me. Yeah. And he's from the island, but the mother, mommy, is more of a New Yorker. I wanted her to have the body type <laughs> of the... <laughs> You know, as I said, the impact um, that you've had on all of us, really, I know that it means obviously a lot to um, Latin, Latinx community, but you know all of us, right, all you. Right. But we have uh, people who have reached out. When they, we, they found out you were going to be on the show, people reached out. I want to say something. We actually have someone in our audience. Evelyn is your name, right? Hi, Evelyn. Hi. I know you? you got picked to have the lucky opportunity to tell Sonia what impact she had on you. Yeah, I just want to say I'm so grateful. I'm a first generation Ecuadorian American. So my first language is Spanish. So I used to watch you and not only did you teach me my ABCs, you also taught me English. So I'm so grateful for that. I grew up in Queens, New York. I still live in Queens, New York. So it's just so, I'm so proud to like see somebody's face that looks just like mine, my family members, Aww. and even Ms. Rodriguez. So thank you. Thank you, Ellen. And that is not all. I told you, literally,
sometimes when people learn that a guest is on our show, they just start flooding our social media. They start wanting to send messages. Your reach is so far and wide. Some members of the Tam fam wanted to send this message. Take a look. Um. So growing up in the early 90s and watching Sesame Street, I remember watching it with my grandmother and looking at the television and seeing Maria. It was so incredible to see how that she was on television and that maybe I could be a part of that one day. My mom is an educator and growing up we would always watch Sesame Street together. And Maria basically gifted my mom the song of a lifetime and that's the no song. We love you Maria, Sonia. <laughs> I was born in Brazil, but I immigrated to the United States at four years old with my mom. I didn't speak English, I didn't know anybody, but we did have a TV. I think Maria was the linchpin. Maria's my grandma's name, my aunt's name, and her being on the show signified that I too was welcome on Sesame Street. members of the Tamron Hall Show who are in media and communications because of you. We want to give you your flowers. <laughs> and thank you personally. Thank you so much. You had an impact on my life, so many of the kids that work on this show. And the next generation, like my son, Moses, falling in love with you in a different way for what you bring with Alma's Way. So thank you. Thank I you love so you. much. Should I settle? You can, you can go to death. Season 2 now streaming on PBS Kids.